Level 3 on my carnivore diet journey. Only beef. Isn't that so boring? Welcome to my life as a carnivore. This video is about level 3. If you want to see the videos about level 1 and 2, the links are below. This is my plan for level 3. So already at the very beginning of my carnivore diet, I was a bit worried because I was eliminating so many foods um, that I get bored. But not at all. And now in level 3, I was only eating beef. How boring. No, not at all. The cow delivers so many different beef cuts. It's so awesome. You have so many different cuts. There's so much variety. I didn't get bored at all. So I'm not a fan of liver at all, but I heard so many great things about it that it's basically your multivitamin. And then there are people, they just swallow each morning a piece of frozen liver, like instead of swallowing a pill. But um, I didn't really want to do that. I really wanted to try it. And yeah, I still don't like it, but I figured out the way um, I cook it with ground beef. So I take the raw ground beef and the raw liver, mix it all together, add salt to it, of course, and then I just um, cook it. And then I actually really like it. But raw, I can't eat it, not yet. I stole this post from Nutrition with Judy from her Instagram page. You should go check it out. She has so many great posts there and you learn so much from it. So on this level, level three, I was eating only beef. So what else could happen, right? But I still got nauseous. Not like every single day, but I just know hmm, something is wrong. And then I read about rendered fat. A lot of people have problems with rendered fat. Not me, right? I mean, already in my keto days, I used to save the bacon fat in, in those jars in my fridge and I cooked and baked everything in bacon fat. Yeah, it tastes delicious, so good. And I never had a problem with it. But now that I exclude more and more foods, I feel like my body gets more um, sensitive or like it's more foods that didn't have a voice yet to actually tell me, hey, I'm not good for you. They actually have a voice now. So I was like, okay, I feel nauseous again. I can't work out the way I used to. Um, yeah, let's get rid of rented fat. And yeah, I felt so much better. So yeah, keep in mind, rendered fat, not all, not all of people do well on that. So something else I figured out, so usually I'm always constipated or like more on that side. But um, I could suddenly reduce all the magnesium. Well, it was great. I thought, wow, awesome. But then suddenly I started to get diarrhea. And I figured out it's when I ate too much fat, especially raw beef suet that I love, of course. I thought from my keto days, oh, I'm doing really well with um, a high fat percentage. But now I think I need to reduce that and figure out what's my perfect ratio. So towards the end of level three, I started reducing my supplements that I was still taking because level four, ribeye level, I wanted to be off of all the supplements if possible. So I started slowly reducing GABA and uh, no. I got a panic attack and it was overstimulation of my brain. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna even try anymore. I stay on my GABA intake 
also during the entire ribeye level I'm not gonna try to re reduce that at all that's not worth it so yeah I have to say here um, it's not that I suddenly out of nowhere I got a panic attack I've been dealing with anxiety and panic attacks for eight years now so yeah I have I think my brain gets overstimulated um, quite often I um, yeah I think I'm neurologically a little bit different than normal but what's normal right so uh, maybe that will be a topic for another video <laughs> so how did I feel during my level three so um, yeah I have to admit I felt like I um, took a step back it was really hard um, reading and seeing all those people that are on carnivore saying oh it helped them with this and that and improved and they feel so great and I was like and me and me where is my greatness where's my energy like yeah when I started this diet at the beginning I was quite nauseous but I had this energy like crazy almost too much sometimes so that's not good either but I miss that where's my energy and this happiness and well I wasn't depressed but really I, w I was tired like almost all the time so I was like thinking is my CFS chronic fatigue syndrome back is that active again and then I realized my hormones yeah and I'm convinced it's my hormones I'm telling you guys I'm not saying a man's body is um, easy but a woman, woman's body is so much more complicated. Believe me, that's so complex. Verdammt! Hormones. No, anyway, so yeah, with my hormones uh, still out of whack, I my sinus, like I sneeze, I, I have hot flashes, or like I'm cold and I'm hot. I um, I get migraines. I uh, it's just annoying. I can't do my workout properly, of course, and tired all the time. Oh, and I got hypersitis. Yeah, it sucks. I'm not 20 anymore. I do a lot of workouts, and. I do a lot that also includes the hips. I started dancing, like um, especially swing dancing with tricks and flips and dips and uh, that's so much fun. And also salsa dancing, yeah. Try salsa dancing without including your hips. And pole fitness and the kickboxing, kicking, hello. And yeah, it's hips, 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 right? Hips don't lie. Yeah, uh, walking the dogs, going hiking, hips. So, Anyways, um, hypersitis sucks. I caught it just in time before it got really, really bad. But I'm also, um, yeah, I kind of have a high pain tolerance. Well, it depends where, but I don't really realize that I'm injured. Or when I'm injured, I'm like, well, I make it at least two times worse. And then I'm like, yes, I'm really injured. So yeah, I'm doing my exercises almost every day, my stretching, I'm sitting on that ball. <laughs> it hurts like hell, but it helps. But um, yeah, so this also gets to my mood. Um, it was that bad that even walking hurt. So I could barely do anything and that just sucks. And I, uh, yeah, I don't like that. I need my workouts. But um, anyway, so I honestly, I have to say, well, it's hard to say now, or, or, or it's always hard to say if, but I think if I wouldn't be on carnivore, it would have been, everything would have been so much worse. Like my, um, I would have fallen into depression because also of my injury and well, I said that in another video I used to get depressions every 10 days nothing of that anymore so with that hormones going up and down um, yeah I really think the carnivore diet helps also I heard from actually quite a few women that carnivore helped them to regulate their cycle or they in less pain or they just help them so I'm really really hoping it helps me too but 
again, I just need to be patient with my body and I love my body. I love you. I really do. It's been really good to me. It's taking care of me, so I'm taking care of uh, of my body. So I have to be patient with it. I have to give it love. I have to give it the right food, some steaks, ribeyes next month, and just wait. Yeah. Still, no cravings at all, except egg yolks. Yeah, I really miss them. I'm, I'm fine without them. It's okay. It's a challenge. I'm doing great. I'm not going crazy. But yeah, I miss them. Some egg yolk sauce. Level four, the ribeye level. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. If not, just click me away. I'm gonna have some meat now.